is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. I, I mean, I'm, I'm super excited about is that line, believe it or not, because it, it's been a problem for so many years. And, and think about this. We have a Laramie Tunsil watch now. I know he's not on the team, but the other LT, not Laramie Tunsil, but left tackle is Austin Jackson. And a lot of people and a lot of eyes are going to be on Austin Jackson, right? Because you got rid of uh, of Laramie and you got him for three picks, right? Three big picks, two first-rounders in a second. And so now you've got an opportunity to load up with those picks. If you hit on, Lar- if you hit on Austin Jackson, then all of a sudden now you've, you've recovered from Laramie Tunsil already with one of those picks. Now it becomes a bonus what you do with the other two picks, which is really cool if you're a Dolphins fan. And so Austin Jackson, I'm really excited to see play because obviously it's a it's a really important position. And we've got, um, what's it called, Solomon Kinley also. Uh, maybe Robert Hunt gets some playing time down the line. I don't know if he challenges Jesse Davis to uh, to right tackle. Uh, it'll be it'll be interesting to see if that that third rookie gets in there, you know what I mean. But the Austin Jackson watch is one that we're all intrigued with because obviously it's left tackle, and I know Tua is a left-handed quarterback, so you're going to worry more about the right tackle there, and they'll solve that problem eventually. And maybe they have already. Maybe Jesse Davis and Robert Hunt can man that thing down, and and you're fine. Who knows? You know, but that is the exciting part about all of this is to watch this line that they've invested, you know, draft picks. They've invested some free agent money in here uh, and and they they did what you had to do. They needed a quarterback. They went and traded for one and they drafted another. They needed offensive linemen. They've drafted linemen in the last two years and they've also now signed some in free agency. So they've addressed the problems that they have. Now let's see if they've been able to fix those problems. But I'll tell you, out of all these guys, I'm really intrigued to see what Austin Jackson does and how he does this year. Because that, obviously, friends, is uh, is a position of extreme need. Julius 305! He says that observation right there is why I support your show. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. But I, I think that's uh, that, w- that's what they're trying to do with uh, with the tight ends. Uh, Mike Gomez says, I'd like to think Flo and Chan would prefer to lean on power running game. Chan is more of a run-oriented than O'Shea, especially with a massive offensive line. Oh, yeah. That's why they've got a six lineman there with the tight end. That's why they brought Howard in, my man. Uh, They intend on making life. They couldn't run last year. They want to run. They wanted to run last year. They just didn't have the line. They just couldn't get it done. Now they got backs. They got the line. And they're putting in the the blocking tight end. Oh, Mike, very good observation on your part. They're going to try to run a lot, the ball. There's no doubt. I mean, it's important to run the ball. You control the clock. You control the possession. You keep the other team off the field. You keep your defense fresh. There's so many positives to running the football. Less things happen that are bad when, you, when you're able to run the ball. You know, when you pass, three things happen. Two of them are bad. So the percentages are not good. When you're beating up people physically, yeah, where's you're down? just running rough shot, man, and inflicting your will on, and they can't do nothing about it. Right, and it we, is so awesome. And we have mammoth offensive linemen this year, finally, which is what I love. I I, I like the big lines instead. I like the big hogs that can move around and and slap some people around. The smaller guys that have to you know worry about athleticism and. And 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 mostly zone blocking because usually that's what you do with smaller linemen. I just I'm not I'm not as uh, as big a fan of that as the big guys that can just maul your ass. 
love those kind of lines. They just wipe you out. And and Miami's got that kind of line. Now we've got to find out if th- those are the kind of players. They look the part. Now we got to see if they can play the part. 